Hello, teacher friends. Welcome to Teachers Making the Basics Fun live stream. This is live stream number four. And today we are talking about using podcasts in your classroom. The title of this video is three ways to use podcasts in the classroom and during distance learning. And I have three criteria for selecting podcasts. I have three podcasts with printables for you. I have three extra podcasts that I think are amazing that you can use in your classroom. And I have three websites that you can go to and find tons of podcasts for kids. And I have one bonus tip at the end if those don't work out for you, I have one bonus tip at the end that I think you're going to love. All right, so if you don't know me, my name is Angie and I was a school teacher for 25 years. I'm retired now. And now my job is to be a teacher to my teacher friends and that's you. And today's topic is podcasts. So if you're listening to this live stream, or if you're doing the replay, go ahead and pop in to the comments and tell me, do you use podcasts in your classroom? And if you do use podcasts in your classroom, which podcasts do you use? And also which grade level? Because today we're going to talk about podcasts that you can use for the little guys and on up. All right. So first, um, let me introduce myself a little more. Let me put that up there so that you know where to find me. I'm um, at Making the Basics Fun website, as well as a podcast called Rockin' This Teacher Thing. So if you love podcasts as much as I love podcasts, that's the reason I thought of podcasts for the classroom is because I love podcasts. And so if you like podcasts, jump on over to Rockin' This Teacher Thing. All right, let's go ahead and get that off of there. Let's jump right in. And if at any time you like anything from today's um, show, give me a thumbs up. First thing, criteria. What kind of criteria do you need for a good podcast for your classroom? Well, first of all, obviously, same as a video, age appropriate. Sometimes a podcast looks age appropriate, but once you listen to it, it's like, oh gosh, no, no. Because if you can think of a topic, it's the subject of a podcast station or an episode. So you have to be super careful. So age appropriate, make sure you preview it. All right. Just, and the, the recommendations I'm going to give you, make sure that you pre preview those as well, just because they seem appropriate to me, might not be appropriate for your students, okay? Next one, ties into skills. And that's where some of these printables are going to come in handy because we use uh, podcasts in the classroom as an alternative to books, as an alternative to a screen. Podcasts, no screen. That's, what, that's one of the great things about a podcast there's no screen. And that's one of the things that makes it great for the classroom and for distance learning. Because the one thing that I heard during distance learning is, wow, these kids are on a screen a lot. Are there any resources that they can use at home that are not on a screen? And the answer is yes, podcasts. Podcasts are a perfect alternative to a screen. And we'll get into that a little bit more. And the third one is we need to make these kids accountable for what they're listening to, what they're interacting with. And that's why we have the, the printables. But you should know that when you're using podcasts to teach, it's a skill that kids sometimes at first, they kind of buck because it's hard to listen. It's hard to do some critical thinking. It's hard to analyze. Those are things that podcasts do really good. Those are the skills that podcasts build really good. And they're hard skills. So your students are going to need a little bit of extra uh, 
TLC at the beginning, some encouragement, because these are skills that they, they, they don't really have quite yet, especially the little guys. Okay, so those are your three criteria. Now let's get into the good stuff. Three podcasts that I love that I have a printable for. So let's jump over to first a um, the printable so that you can see it. Let me bring it up here so that you can see it. There we go. And this printable goes with a podcast called um, Dr. Floyd. And let's see, my camera just went out. That's nice. This goes with a podcast. I'm going to jump over to my um, my other camera. That's not so nice. Um, and this goes with a podcast called Dr. The, Adve the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Let's go ahead and bring that up as well. You can find it on um, uh, Radio Adventures of Dr. Now, Mindy, won't you please tell our winning contestants what they've... That is not the one we want. Um, Dr. Floyd. Oops. Excuse me. Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. There it is. This is Apple Podcasts. Um, so there it is. That's what it looks like right here. Okay, so you can just go to Apple Podcasts and click on that, and then you're going to see all the seasons coming up. This is actually one uh, podcast that we um, that have it's been around a really long time. Okay, and they actually have a website. Let's see if we can find the website. Let's jump up to the website. Here it is. So here's their website, and you can see that they have um, seasons up here that you can download. All right. Now the great thing about Dr. Floyd, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go fiddle with my camera here in just a second. You go ahead. Let's go ahead and listen to a little bit of Dr. Floyd. It's time once again for America's favorite show, The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, brought to you by drfloyd.com. In the last episode of The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, a mystic sea of fortune-telling machine made an ominous prediction about the fate of one of our heroes. Let's not waste any more time and join our heroes, Dr. Floyd, his protege, Dr. Grant, and their faithful robot companion, Chips, as they sit aboard the bridge of their time and spaceship. Chips, any readings on Dr. Steve yet? Okay. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty animated. So um, uh, it's why it's so fun is because there I got my camera back is because it has that sense of drama to it. OK, and so let's go back to the worksheet and What's great about this podcast too, and we didn't quite get into it, is every episode has a history par portion to it. So um, that's really neat. They actually teach like one episode I was listening to was about wall drug. And being from Montana, we hear about wall drug a lot in North Dakota, I think is South Dakota. I can't remember now, South Dakota. And I've been there. How many, how many have been there? Put in the comments. Have you been to Wall Drug? Have you seen the thousands of signs that lead to Wall Drug? Anyway, there's a story behind all the, those signs. And when it says free water, there's a story behind those signs. And that is in uh, one of the episodes of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. So this is where the podcast name and episode would go, characters and setting, problem, and solution or obstacle and then a doodle. Now your little ones are going to be able to do this portion right here, super easy, but the, these, they're gonna have to have a little bit of help and that's okay. The great thing about this for digital learning, it, it's in the description below, get it, put it, um, put it on your um, Google Docs or your Google Classroom. 
that's fine. I want you to do that. You have per my permission to do that. So have them listen to an episode, have them fill this in, okay? And I guarantee that the more they listen to this one, the more that they will want to, because just like the old time radio, there's a cliffhanger at the end of each one. And so not only are they listening and doing history, listening to history, but they are also um, being exposed to some of those uh, little hooks that make people want to keep watching. And you can talk about those those things that uh, creators use to, to build anticipation. All right. So that's the radio ad adventures of Dr. Floyd. Let's jump over to let's jump over to this one and let's go to the next one that I have for you and it is it used to be called Pants on Fire and now it's called Big Fib. Okay. Pants on fire. And if when you hear pants on fire, you think of liars, that's exactly what it is. So the idea for this podcast is it's like a game show. The uh, contestant is a child and there are two experts. The first expert is... Um, or we don't know which one. It could be the first expert. Um, the expert is either telling the truth or it is, he is or she is, there's the printable there for you, that is in the description below. Uh, two of them. One's a truth teller, one is a liar. And they have like a little game show where the child asks them questions and they have to, uh, if it's the expert, they have to tell the truth. If it's the the liar, they can say whatever they want. And it's kind of tricky to hear the difference. And so, um, so you put the guests here and their qualifications, like uh, they keep bees or they're, they're beehive people or something like that. And then over here, guest one, guest two, correspond with up here. So if, if they think that during the time they're telling the truth, they circle in a smiley face. If they think they're lying during the conversation, they color in a little pants on fire, a little fire, okay? And then at the end, they kind of look at their data and they can tell which one they think is probably telling the truth because they have a bunch of smileys and which one's a liar because they have a bunch of fires, all right? They put their guests there, and then what you can do is stop the podcast and have a discussion with your students. Which one do you think it is? Why do you think it is? So that they're using those, analy they're analyzing that stuff, okay? So that's, used to be called Pants on Fire, now it's the big fib. All right, let's bring um, that up. No, that's not what we want. Never mind. All right. Let's flip back to here. So the next one, number three, are you with me? The next one is that I have a printable for you, the past and the curious. And that one, you can tell I have crappy paper because you can see right through it. So the past and the curious is a let me bring that up over here for you. Past in the curious. One. Hello, singing nurse. Sorry, I'm sorry you're late. Sweetie, you're here. Thank you for being here. I love it. Uh, past and curious. You had to work. Wow. Um, this is a great podcast for, it's right here, this is what it looks like, for history, all right? And so it has a gazillion um, 
It has a little synopsis there and you can play it. it has a, it takes a second to download, but um, what's so great about this is that it really talks about how certain inventions and people have shaped who we are and what we are today. It's so great. The, the first part is a uh, advertisement for coffee. Um, let's see if I can make it go forward. Get a little Who bit. asked for the child's name on the first day of school? Little sis had always liked the name Elizabeth, so that's what she told the teacher her name was. And for the rest of her long and eventful life, that's how she was known. All right, so it tells little stories about history. Kids love it. It's awesome. So in order to kind of make them a little more accountable, this one is maybe for your more advanced students. They uh, um, will need some help for the younger students, but even in this portion right here, it says, how did this event or person shape history? So again, it's that listening and analyzing and making comparisons. That's really hard for your students, but that's what podcasts do so well. All right. And then they always have a quiz time that they do a little quiz at the end. It's super fun. So those are the three podcasts that I have printables for you. I think you're going to love them. All right. And... Now, three more podcasts worth mentioning because they're so amazing. And they are right here. The first one is, nope, well, the first one is, let's see if I can find it. The first one is called Animal Safari, Animal Sound Safari. There it is right there. Let's take a quick listen. I think your students are gonna love it. It looks like this. Here it is right here. And let's just do, let's just click on this one. How do vultures help the dead? So you can see that it has a lot of animation too. It keeps the kids engaged. So that is a very fun and um, engaging podcast for you. The next one is Wow in the World. Wow in the World. All right. in the world. All right. I couldn't hear it. Oh, you couldn't hear it? No. Can we hear it, people? <laughs> Nick, my sound guy, says we could not hear it. So maybe I'm doing something wrong, which is a very good possibility because I do stuff wrong a lot. That's my specialty. This one's not coming up as well. Oh, there it is, right there. Wow in the world, right there. Let's see if this one comes up. Let's go over to it. Wait a second. We don't want this. We want, oh. We want this. Let's see if I can. Thanks for hanging in there with me, you guys. I am learning how to do this, and I knew it was going to be a little tricky, but um, um, I did. Okay, otters, who's ready to dig in? I know I am. I haven't eaten in an hour. Hello. Whoa, that's quite the feast you've got there, Mindy. Oh, hey, 
Here, Ozzy. Here, we saved you a plate. We? Wait a minute. Are, are we eating with otters? Oh, yeah. Otters need to eat about 10 to 15 pounds of food a day, so we had a lot in common. 10 to 15 pounds? Mindy, that's like a bowling ball full of food. I know. Impressive, right? I can only eat about 14 pounds of food on a good day. So that's wow in the world. What's great about that is they give a little quiz, they ask a question, and then they give three choices, and then the answer is in the next episode. So it's that cliffhanger again, and then it gives the kids a little bit of time to do some research. So that's super fun. All right. And last one that I have for you is called Brains On. Let me see if I can bring that up over here for you. It's called Brains On. And that's another great one that kids love and teachers love. Most of these, as you can see, are um, science-y or literature-based. They, that's what it looks like right there. And this is from uh, an American public radio kind of thing. So it's really a lot of, the, they're very well produced. Hi friends, Molly here. Before we start today's episode of Brains On. A lot of times they'll do a little um, advertisement. Hi Wally. Now these robots are all the size of animals or humans. But what about robots that are much, much smaller? Right. Today's episode was inspired by this question. My name is Greta from Knife River, Minnesota, and my question is, what is the smallest robot in existence? So, they have a question, they research, and then they discuss. So, that's, that's really, really fun for the kids. So, that's three honorable, honorable mentions. Now, I have three websites for you, and they're in the description below. I had them, but honestly... It looks like I exited out of them and let's see if I could bring them up. No, I exited out of them. I will, I have the, them in the description. They are kidslisten.org. They have tons of, um, it's like a library of podcasts. Let's just bring it up. And I will share that screen with you. Kidslisten.org. Angie, no. <laughs> oh, I tell you. This is what it looks like right here. Kidslisten.org. And there's all sorts of podcasts right over here. Let's see if we can find it. Well, there's activity podcasts, but there's all sorts of other things too for you. Um, so I think that as a teacher, you'll be able to find something really great. All right. The next one that I want to show you really quick is, oops. This one and this one is like a membership, but it has right now they're doing a special. I, I, I'm not an affiliate and I'm not an associate or anything like that, but um, it has tons of, of podcasts and music and books on tape and things like this. This one right here, Smash Boom Best, excellent podcast. Um, this one right here, there's our brains on right there. Animal Sound Safari right there, ready for you. It also has books. It also has all sorts of just really um, great things. Oh, there's the audio books. You know, back in the day, you used to put a CD in or even in my day, you put a tape in. Um, and now you can just go online and, and there it is for you. All right. Um, also, one more. It's Gen Z Media. Right there. And this is a place that has a bunch of 
podcast. Now, as you can see, remember we were talking about age appropriate? Not okay for kindergartners. <laughs> that will give them nightmares. All right, but here's the big bib right here. It's one of their podcasts that they have there for you. And then they also have like Earth Rangers and things like that. Um, Molly of Denali, if you guys watch PBS, and uh, that's a big one on PBS, so that's really fun. Most, that one, um, Tumble, that's a great one too. All right, so there's three places you can go for podcasts. And the last tip, the tip that you've been waiting for. This is a very, um, it's a great tip. It's a great tip. Let me show you. If you have a topic that you are looking for and you need a podcast for it, you type in podcast, just right up here, colon, and then let's say the topic that you're doing, like bees or jungle, and then the, a plus, I find this is best, and then I do kids. And let me move this and up it should come. Okay. <laughs> well, it brought me up to um, podcasts, but here, let me take it and put it down in the Google search bar. Maybe that's my problem. Or not. Oh, you know, sometimes, it, well, in your search bar, that's what you need to do. Podcasts, and then the topic that you're looking for, and then things like um, uh, kids or something like that. Let me just try one more thing. Let's just do, like, this is one I tried before. Okay, podcast, math, plus kids. And so see, here's a bunch of podcasts geared towards kids that have to do with math. Maybe let's go ahead and put these here. Okay. Aha, there we go. But why? That's a um, podcast. Podcast for curious kids. Kids, how do bees make blah, blah, blah. So, Put your topic in, podcast, colon, your topic, plus kids. If you don't put plus kids, you're going to get some stuff that you probably don't want. But always remember to preview. All right. That was a lot of information today. I am so thankful that you are here because that kind of information for the next few weeks as you're getting ready for school and you're looking at your planning, this is going to be great because you're going to be like, oh, Maybe there's a podcast out there. Go to your computer, type it in, see what you can find, add it to the resources for that unit or that subject that you're teaching. There are tons of podcasts and kids need that practice of listening. They need that practice of analyzing. It's, it's so important, all right? So thank you. If you um, enjoyed today, give me a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that next week you'll be here and ready. Speaking of next week, I have a family thing next week. So instead of Wednesday, we're going to do Tuesday. So if you can make it Tuesday, awesome. If not, that's okay. You can check the replay. Um, all right. Next week, we are going to talk about the first day of school and some steps that you can do to get ready for that first day of school, but mostly what that first day of school is going to look like for kindergarten and first grade. All right, because that's kind of a scary day for kids, <laughs> but it's a way scarier day for the teachers. <laughs> At least it was always for me because it, it was just getting to know people that you've never known before and making that foundation for kids a positive one, a fun one, but also one that 
you are already teaching them and building relationships with them. It's a very critical first step. So next week, we're going to talk about it and it's going to be super fun. Again, um, Dawn, the singing nurse, thank you for being here. I'm going to see if I can get you over there. Hey, look at that. Nice to see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Um, for those of you who are watching the replay, go ahead and... Um, oh, well, thank you. I'd like to give a plug for your podcast, my podcast. Thank you. Yes, uh, Rockin' This Teacher Thing is my podcast, and um, it comes out every other Tuesday. So, Don, thank you for... Um, allowing me to do that. I appreciate it. I love podcasts. I love listening to podcasts. So uh, this last week, I talked to a principal and he talked about um, what he looks for in good hires. And basically, it's be your authentic self. And basically, it's about being a person of positivity and um, and being able to uh, work your issues out. And man, we could all use some, some help in that area. So um, yeah, go ahead and check rocking this teacher thing out. Thank you, Don, for allowing me that little plug for myself. I appreciate it. And a, a little plug for Don. She has a YouTube channel, she's a nurse, and she has amazing videos that you can show in your classroom. Speaking of great content, as you're planning for the year, there's some right there because this year is going to be a lot about health and um, we're going to need all the resources that we can get. So thank you, Don. All right, so summary. We looked at three criteria for podcasts. We looked at three podcasts. We got some great printables. Those uh, links are in the description for you. We talked about three extra podcasts, the Animal Safari one, Wow in the World, and Brains On. And then you got three more podcast libraries to go and look at. And the bonus, podcast, colon, your subject, plus kids, if all of that doesn't work. Let me know how that all works for you in your classroom. I think your kids are going to love it. Again, it's going to be tough for them. Listening is hard but we do hard things, right? Use it during your distance learning. It's something they can do without a screen. Yay. All right. Thank you for being with me today. I appreciate you coming. Make sure that um, you subscribe if you haven't. I already mentioned that. And I just appreciate you all so much. See you all soon. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.